Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we are looking at the X Tool D9, which is quite a professional package. Uh, it's a D9 Pro, in fact. You see that there, D9 Pro. Um, it's quite a, quite a large tablet. It's designed for like workshops, environments, garages, you know, guys who just don't know what they're going to be getting in from day to day basis to fix anything that comes their way. So this is this is one of the tools to do it. Uh, this tool kind of, um, it, it goes, if you've seen the D7 and the D8 tools, this tool like blows those tools out of the water. But granted, you do pay a lot more for this tool. This tool is kind of like on par with if you've seen the CR Ultra. Uh, CR Ultra is actually a little bit less, but um, they're about the same in functionality wise and what they can do. You know, they can do coding, like they can code new modules to the vehicle, as well as everything else that you know the, the lesser tools can do. Um, but in this video, we're just going to show you some really basic functions on this tool diagnosing and resetting these warning lights on an Audi A6 from 2016. So we've got the, uh, the the flashing glow plug, we've got the ABS and we've got the airbag light showing there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click into diagnose and we're gonna select our manufacturer, which is Audi. Uh, you'll notice that this is a wireless tool. We've got like a, we've got this VCI, which is one end is plugged into the VCI, the other end is plugged into the, uh, the diagnostic port, which is, you might just see it, on the lower right hand side of the steering wheel there it's plugged in uh, so we'll just keep that to one side but it's good because you can like you can walk around the workshop or you can be sitting outside the vehicle and using this specific tool all right so um we'll go to manual selection did it do anything there oh no we want to go to system selection in any case uh, full system diagnosis so here it brings like a full list of all the systems you can actually diagnose so I'm not going to show you all of them but because like there's like hundreds of them uh, but it's all of the main systems within any vehicle okay um, and we're going to go to engine electronics just trying to get an angle of the screen where it's not producing any glare so it says communicating and when you get into each system, it gives you like loads of options. So you can do live data, read and clear trouble codes, actuation tests, you can do coding. Um, but we're gonna go, Just we're just looking at basic functions at the minute. And the code here that we're looking at is this one here, the bottom one, which is uh, P123700, fuel injector, cylinder one open circuit. If we're seeing anything like this, on the test that we do today, unknown error codes. Um, these are a little bit of an anomaly that we're getting on this car at the minute, and we've we've hooked a few tools up to this uh, this vehicle, and we're getting these faults on all of them. So um, we can't clear them, so we need to we need to find out what they are. But it does in, involve us doing a little bit more digging, <coughs> excuse me, which we will do um, uh, as soon as we get the chance. But um, this fault was a fuel injector fault, which has now been sorted. Um, the three main steps, probably you guys who are watching this video, you probably know all about the D9 tool, who it's aimed at, so you're probably coming from a workshop environment or you, or you know a lot about vehicles. Um, it is aimed at the garages and the workshops, but that's not to say that anybody who has their own private collection or the one the best tool for their own vehicles, you know, you, you're just as welcome to, to use this tool. Uh, but you'll probably know that there are three main steps, you know, you've got your, you diagnose the fault, You've got your fixing of the fault and then you've got your clearing of the fault. So um, this, it's all been fixed, it's all been uh, diagnosed. So we just need to now go on to clear trouble code and then we'll keep an eye on the, well, it's already gone. There we go, the flashing glow plug light. Um, so that happened really quick there. And that is just like an example of what the tool can do. We'll, we'll look at the ABS light, which is right here. Um, that's in the brake electronics system. So again, we'll go read trouble codes, forget about any unknown error codes. Um, this, this, is, this is strange, this, because um, we know what the fault is because we've diagnosed it on a different tool. Um, say, for example, right, the D8 and the D9 aren't giving specific information here for that ABS fault. But we, previous, we also hooked up the D7, which was giving us the information for the for the uh, the ABS fault, and it was telling us there was a fault with the uh, the front right ABS sensor. So that has now been sorted, but it's it's a little bit of a mystery as to why this tool isn't actually giving us the information. Um, 
it should say like it should give us the fault code and then it should give us like front right ABS sensor um, open circuit something like that uh, but it's not doing that so uh, we're going to report it to Xtool and it'll be like fixed in a future uh, software update but for now what we're going to do is just click on clear trouble code and there we go the ABS light has gone because um, it's a good job we have other tools so we can figure out what the what the fault was um, but this that's an example of how at times it honestly it's very very small but at times these tools can sometimes fail you like the 99% good um, that's the first time I've ever had that with using this tool it's always been able to find every single fault on everything we've done so just uh, it's just uh, as a side note you know they're not like 100% perfect and 99% good. Um, oh, sorry, I've come back too far. And I'm going to go into one more. I'm going to go to the airbag system again. It's all sorted, it's all repaired, it's all put back together. But we're just going to go to read code. I'll show you the code. There we go, the first one there. And that's one of those U codes that we can forget about. Clear trouble code. Let's keep an eye on the airbag light. Should go, there we go, it's all done. And again, you've got your adaptions, your codings for every single system. Uh, you can do like, l there's loads of um, like service functions that you can do with this. Um, uh, come on with that. Um, so if we go into like special functions, you, know, you do all of your new battery registration, gearbox matching, um, DPF regeneration, gear learning, suspension calibration, EGR relearns, there's loads of service functions there. Um, yeah, but that's the D9 Pro kit, it's a fantastic kit, and the full capabilities of what this tool can do, I've honestly touched on 1% of it, it's that good, um, but I definitely recommend it if you are looking into a, a garage or workshop environment. Look at this, look at, look at the uh, the CR Ultra kit. If I can remember, I'll put the link to the CR Ultra as well in the description. Uh, they're both just as good as each other, okay? Thanks for watching, and I hope it helps.